Let's look at my top five miniature tripods under 30 pounds. The Joby Gorillapod is the classic. It is the OG miniature tripod. It is the go-to for any YouTubers that want to look like Casey or Peter McKinnon whilst they're out there vlogging. It is the miniature tripod for your selfie style vloggers. But with all that being said, it does come with its issues, both good and bad. So let's look at the good bits first of all. It is a massively versatile and flexible stand. It allows you to attach your camera to places and locations that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to put it with these articulating ball joints. It also collapses into a flexible handstand. So for you selfie style shooters, it's almost the perfect ergonomic grip. You can also hold cameras and rigs up to around a kilo in weight and it's just generally quite lightweight and compact so it's very easy to have with you. For me though the bad points are too big to overlook. Firstly it's very susceptible to falling over. When you've got it set up into a tripod mode its centre of gravity is often very off because you can't quite get the legs straight. So you have this feeling of fear when you leave your camera set up on it and walk away to get a shot. It's just not very confidence inspiring. And with that point as well is the articulating ball joints, which are obviously one of its best points, but they're very susceptible to breaking over time. They're very easy to overextend and you'll snap the little plastic ring, but just generally they will wear out and loosen. And after around six months, you'll find that the stand will start to buckle on its own under its own weight. So those bad points really do far outweigh the good points in my mind at least. Next up is the iGadgets 2-in-1 Pistol Grip Tripod. This comes in at a mere five pounds. Well, actually it was four pounds 89 when I was making the notes for this video and is by far the cheapest miniature tripod that you can get on the market today. And sure, this little guy is the brunt of a lot of our jokes here. And that's because, well, mainly the build quality is so awful. It's so plastic and so cheap, but it does have a rightful place on this list and that's purely because of its accessibility and its affordability. It's open to creators of literally all sizes. It literally costs a fiver and I don't know much video gear that you can get for five pounds that's actually worth owning. And to be fair, the iGadgets 2-in-1 pistol grip bucks that trend. It is incredibly accessible and versatile, mainly for its price point, but also for its ease of use. It does work relatively well. And beyond all its shortcomings, you also have the added feature of being able to look like James Bond whilst you're setting up your shop. Now next on this list is the Manfrotto Pocket Support. It has a recommended retail price of £20, but is more often than not on sale, and that's for around £5 from your online retailers. If you see it on sale at that price, buy it. You absolutely won't regret it. Its build quality and its usefulness is so high that it'll have a rightful place in your kit bag. Now sure, it is a lot different from the other miniature stands that I'm gonna show you in this list. It is an always on camera support. So it's no good for your handheld shooting, for your selfie style vloggers, this isn't gonna be great. But for an extremely compact and lightweight flat surface mount, this guy is pretty incredible. It has your typical Manfrotto build quality for just five pounds and allows a kind of level of versatility that you don't get with just a flat plate on the bottom of your camera. And the fact that it folds down to being this small means that it'll always be in your camera bag. So if you see it, buy it, you won't regret it. So coming in at number two on my list is the Joby Griptite Gorillapod for smartphones. This retails from around 15 to 25 pounds. For me, the Joby Griptite is the only Gorillapod that I would recommend for any type of content creator out there. And that's because it doesn't suffer the same problems of the bigger brothers in its model. It has the same articulating ball joints all the way through and it has the same kind of ability to hold in a hand grip. But because it's purely designed for smartphones or very lightweight accessories, it doesn't have its center of gravity issue. It's not likely to fall over. Also, the articulating ball joints are just a bit stronger because they're smaller, so they're less likely to break. It also has some great additional features that the bigger versions don't have. The first, and this is my favorite, is the magnetic feet. 
And this is really a blockbuster addition to this miniature stand. And that's because it enables an extra level of accessibility onto the stand. You can now magnetically attach this stand to any piece of metal. Now sure, the stand is purely designed for mobile phones. Well, that's how it's marketed, but it will also work with a whole host of other miniature cameras and accessories. And that's because this little phone grip on top will detach and show you a quarter inch thread underneath. So you're now able to use it with things like miniature LED lights or even action cameras, which is actually how we make best use of this stand. Attaching an action camera to your quarter inch thread and then magnetically sticking it to the ceiling or wherever there's a piece of metal that you can wrap this around, you now have the perfect miniature tripod. And finally, my favorite miniature tripod on the market for under $30 currently is the Manfrotto Pixie Mini. You can see these online for from anywhere between 18 and 25 pounds. And if you see it at that lower price point, buy two. Really, they are that good. For any smaller body DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, compacts, or even action cameras, this is the best miniature tripod on the market. And that's because as a tripod, it just works. Now, unlike any other miniature tripod or stand that we've tried over the years, and that's quite a lot, this provides the highest level of security when mounted on a flat surface of them all. And with that Manfrotto build quality, you get that level of confidence with the stand that you would expect. You're happy to leave your expensive mirrorless camera on the stand, walk away and get your shot and not worry about it falling over, which you cannot say for things like the Joby Gorilla Pods. You're always a little bit worried with them that your camera's gonna topple over. Now, beyond it being a really secure tripod, the tripod legs itself will collapse into a really ergonomic hand grip, which enables that selfie style shooting. So for vloggers, this also represents a really good addition or a really good alternative to the Gorilla Pod. And addition to that is also the lockable ball joint, which is really a fantastic feature for any tripod. It enables you to either level your shot perfectly, if your flat surface isn't perfectly level, or even get a more artistic angle to your frame with that lockable ball joint. The only thing to really bear in mind with this is that maximum weight load. Once you start approaching one kilogram, the ball joint is probably the weakest bit and you're gonna start seeing that failing and drooping with heavier cameras. So bear that in mind if you do add the Pixie Mini to your kit bag. But like I say, if you see it at that lower price point, don't just buy one, buy two, because this little guy will get the maximum use in your kit bag. So in summary, any of these stands will do a great job for you and will have a useful place in your kit bag. And depending on your budget, you won't be disappointed. Now I have listed these in my order of preference. So if I was to have to pick, I would say absolutely the Manfrotto Pixie Mini is the one to go for. But don't discount the Joby Grip Type. I think for its price point, its versatility, and its general usefulness, this is a really hidden gem on the market today. And for less than 20 pounds, it's an absolute bargain. So that's been my grab and go review of my top five miniature tripods under 30 pounds. Thanks for watching, join the Watermelon Squad, and I'll see you next time.